your turn to talk. <laughs> yes, and we are talking about Social Security today with Joe Burt, the Oracle of Orlando from Certified Financial Group. And Joe, first of all, good morning. Thanks good morning. for being here as good usual. Here. Uh, you know, a lot of people uh, keep putting out their dire predictions about Social Security. Right. So a lot of people also take Social Security early. Is this, with the, with the current climate with Social Security, is that a smart option? Absolutely not. In fact, if you can wait to take Social Security, it's a better thing. And you're right, it is. Right now, it's a political football. Right. The Social Security, at least for the baby boomers, is in good shape. We've got at least 20 years there. And what's going to happen, I think, Tom, is that the younger people, you and Lauren, are going to have to wait a little bit longer. Appreciate right? that. Well, <laughs> but that's the price you pay for youth. You're going to have to probably wait a little longer to get less. But the baby boomer generation and those that are already receiving Social Security right. probably have nothing to worry about. But the big mistake that we see, Tom, is that people take it too early. If you take it at 62 and you're first eligible, you get about a 25% reduction okay. in what you get at full retirement. And that carries with you throughout your lifetime. So if you're, if you're, especially if you're continuing to work, you don't want to take it. So we keep hearing so much about the government's debt right. and that it's rising uh -huh. exponentially right. every day. Oh, it is. No so, question. So what is the situation and how could that affect Social Security? Well, certainly we got, what they say is the actuaries tell us about 20 years before any major changes have to be made. But the good news is if you make the changes today, address what the issues are, recognize we've got this large mass of humanity coming through the system right. that's living longer. They're living longer than what the actuaries projected, and that's the problem. But it can be fixed. <laughs> Unless you're one of the ones living longer. <laughs> <laughs> but it can be fixed if we make some tough decisions today and recognize that if we don't, the younger generation will have nothing. All right, so taking it too early, a big right. mistake. Big what mistake. are some other mistakes that we make? Well, the other mistake is, is if you can delay Social Security, a full retirement age for me is 66. If I wait till 70, my benefit increases guaranteed automatic 8% per year for my lifetime. And when I pass away, my wife would take over my benefit. So the mistake that we see people make, they want to get it now because if you need the income, it's one thing. But if you don't need the income, if you can live off a pension or off of other investment savings, it's sometimes a better thing to do. So waiting those four years, years from 66 to 70, that increases your benefit by a third. By 8% compounded per year, and that does not include the cost of living increases. It's, okay. it's a tremendous benefit. Unfortunately, many people don't grab it when they can, and they mess themselves up throughout the retirement years. Lots of things to they think about. It takes some planning. Right? And you need to plan now. Yeah, that's the key. All Always right. the key. Joe Burt, great to see you. All right, Tom, you too. Lauren.